The Indian Express reports several vehicles procured by the Mumbai police for fighting crimes against women were instead being used as escort vehicles. These vehicles were being used for the security needs of MPs and MLAs of the ruling Ekna Chinde led Shiv Sena faction since July 2022. After the Indian Express reported on the story the vehicles procured for the security of women were returned to police stations where they have been requisitioned Mohammad Tawair assistant editor the Indian Express who first reported on the story tells us why vehicles procured by the Mumbai police were used as escort vehicles for MPs and MLAs he also tells us about the current developments in the case in 2013 the central government started a nirbhaya fund this is a central government fund and they provide funds to every state where uh, you know police forces where they can use the uh, use this money uh, you know to purchase uh, be it cars whatever they think will help the law enforcement agency you know uh, tackle crime against women so it was specifically meant for that now what happens is sometimes some state police forces they uh, do not end up using the entire amount or they do not make a request uh, so this time around the uh, mumbai police had made a request that they wanted to purchase vehicles under the nirbhaya fund and accordingly uh, rupees 30 crores were spent they bought uh, ertiga vehicles boleros bikes and everything uh, so basically they received 220 boleros al- boleros along with the other vehicles in around march april by june these vehicles had been distributed majority of them had been distributed to police stations depending upon how big or important the police station is some police stations got two or one bolero and other police units were also given that now the point of this entire exercise was that these boleros that you have acquired under the nirbhaya fund be used to fight crimes against women so police stations were meant to use these vehicles to you know increase their patrolling uh you know reaching a crime scene uh, sooner like every police station has a couple of vehicles and having one more vehicle means that if for example at three four places there are things that they have to go suddenly you know they have enough number of vehicles and they can patrol more and eventually all this was supposed to help uh, you know fight crime against women so this was the basic purpose why these uh, vehicles had been purchased what happened is uh, you know like these vehicles they came to mumbai police headquarters they were distributed to police stations and even at police station levels see you have to understand that at some police stations some of their vehicles have gone in for repair and things like that so it was a welcome break for them to have another vehicle that they could you know use uh, to fight crimes against women to fight generally you know use for law enforcement purposes uh, unfortunately what happened is in june they got these vehicles then there was a change of government in the state and uh, mr eknath shinde and uh, mr devendra fadnavis they formed a the government uh, so what happened is soon after the police stations had received these vehicles they were uh, uh, there was an order issued asking some of these vehicles to be returned to the police head or motor transport department so some police officers told me that within 2 3 days or within a few weeks they had to just return the vehicle back they were told that the vehicle was needed for vip security basically for uh, you know mlas uh, for providing uh, security to mlas there was a need for more vehicles because what happened is after the shinde government came to power because they had broken away from the uddhav thakre faction of the sena they feared that they may be attacked and hence all mlas were given y plus with escort category now to put it in context generally an mla only has a x category security which means one police personnel no vehicles but in this case since they felt that they were under risk initially they kind of gave them y plus with escort which means five policemen along with a bolero vehicle escort vehicle now a lot of people thought that maybe initially they needed it and later it, it would be uh, you know they would reduce the, the security because then they formed the government but unfortunately that did not happen so they had basically taken uh, 40 of the 220 boleros that the mumbai police received they had taken 47 for the uh, security of uh, mlas of the 47 while 17 were returned some after a month some after two months 30 vehicles remained with them and now it was six months so a lot of cops said that at police station levels they were falling short of vehicles and this was unheard of you know like a lot of cops i spoke to who served for 20 25 years and they said it's never happened that for security of mlas vehicles were being taken from police station you know because there is a separate protection and security department but even 
because suddenly you are giving security to so many MLAs. I mean, there were, uh, you know, the resources were not there. And hence, the uh, security department had to then rely on uh, vehicles from the local police station. So this was the report that we had done. And because of that, what was also happening is that local police station level, sometimes if they, let's say, have to take an accused to the court, they had to borrow vehicles from other police stations. Or at times, in fact, one cop told me that they even had to use a private vehicle. So that was the condition that was at the police station level because of the vehicles being taken for uh, MLA security. Soon after the, the, the report came, day before yesterday, uh, you know, a lot of opposition leaders in the state uh, kind of took up the issue. Uh, the Shiv Sena, uh, the Uddhav uh, Thakre faction held a press conference in which Priyanka Chaturvedi, the spokes MP, said that, you know, if the if these vehicles were not return, returned within seven days, they would be protesting. And uh, they generally, they were, the government was came in for criticism from a lot of sections saying that how the security of, uh, you know, MLAs and Netas was being prioritized over the security of women. Uh, when, you know, the Prime Minister has time and again said that the security of women is a priority and uh, that, you know, this if they need it secure. And also questions about why would MLAs who have been for six months, they have their government, whom were they so scared about, you know, because generally only MLAs who have a specific threat perception or who are cabinet ministers, they get such security. So the general uh, criticism was about who are these MLAs so scared of that they need Y plus with escort category at the expense of, you know, security not being provided to women. So after these, this issue was uh, taken up by opposition parties and the government came in for criticism from several quarters, uh, we were told that uh, uh, a decision was taken. In fact, yesterday, uh, BJP leader uh, Chitra Wag held a press conference and uh, she said that, you know, within seven to eight days, all these vehicles will be returned back to police station following the outrage. And so the uh, by yesterday we reported like by last night, these vehicles had started coming back to the police stations. Uh, another thing that I would also add is Chitra Wag in her press conference yesterday also did mention that while these vehicles had been used by the Shinde camp MLA, MLAs, what she said is that some of the vehicles that had been procured in, in June under the Nirbhaya Fund, the Boleros, were also used by the Mahavikas Aghadi leaders like Chagan Bujbal. She said even Supriya Sule's convoy had some of these Boleros that had been uh, procured from the Nirbhaya Fund. So, I mean, that was the political battle going on. But at the end of the day, uh, the vehicles are uh, more, some of the vehicles are back in the police stations and the rest should be uh, returned back to the police stations in the next few days. That's what we've been told.